Welcome back. Today I thought I'd do something a little different. If anybody knows me in person, they know my love for vintage clothing. I've collected several different pieces over the years, and I'm excited to show you some of these fall outfits I've put together. I picked this one up at a garage sale. I really think this is a charming piece. Underneath I'm wearing a petticoat. I don't normally go for prints this dark, but it had me at the collar. Just check out all the little lace detailing. It's super cute. I am such a sucker for lace. I'm a huge garage sailor, by the way. It's a little more difficult with children, but I found some of my best finds at grandmother's garage sales. This belt I call my kissing bird belt for obvious reason because it looks like the birdies are giving each other a smooch. This next outfit I picked up at an estate sale. I really like how whimsical it is. The fabric's kind of a chiffon but I'm not sure what kind of chiffon because it's a little stiffer than normal. With it I've paired my kissing bird belt. You know, the funny thing is, my husband does not like this dress. He thinks it's ugly. And that's okay. When I wear it, I usually just wear it for fun, to dress up for myself in my vintage style. But when I'm dressing up to please the husband, I leave this one in the closet. What I love about this dress is the ruffles around the neck. It kind of makes you feel a little princessy, or like you're in the old times. The Little House in the Prairie in a cute prairie dress and you're going to the dance to meet your future husband, maybe. Pairing this hat to give it a more southern vibe. The funny thing is, I have grown up in the south all my life and I do not own a pair of cowgirl boots to save my life. Kind of a sin, isn't it? I don't even feel like I have much of a southern accent. I might have a little. I've had some people tell me that I have when I've gone to places like Chicago, but um, I just can't hear it in comparison to some of my neighbors. You can comment below and let me know if you can hear any lick of Southern accent. And now I picked this top up from a barn sale, which I guess technically is a garage sale, but in a barn. Now guys, if you are in the South and you like vintage clothes or antiques in general, it is worth the trip to go to Warrington, Texas when they have their festival twice a year because they have some amazing finds. It's where all the antique people go to buy their stuff and then upcharge to you. Go if you're really interested. It's super cool. Check out my little horn and my band outfit. Toot toot. Am I a total dork because I'm wearing a band outfit? Maybe a little bit. I'll still wear it out. Life's too short to wear a boring outfit. I guess you could argue life's too short to wear a dorky outfit, but I'm going to go with the first argument. This red blazer I also picked up from a garage sale. My mom is really excellent at teaching me how to hunt down old people things, and I got this maybe when I was 17. That was a long time ago. With it, I paired a vintage blouse and skirt that I picked up from a thrift store. And I have my nude heels. This outfit reminds me of Lois Lane, like the old Lois Lane in the comic books that was always getting herself into trouble just so she could see Superman. Kind of desperate if you ask me. And for what? She ends up dying and then gets replaced by Wonder Woman. I don't know about you, but I am a sucker for peplums. They're super flattering. They help give me this hourglass figure, which I sometimes have, but not today. Today I have more of a rectangle figure. That's not the curvy look I'm going for. So peplums, ladies, make your waist look smaller and your hips look a little bit bigger in the best way. With it, I have this brooch. My mother actually gave this to me. My mom actually is the one that I have to credit for most of my skills when it comes to finding old people's stuff. 
She taught me how to go to estate sales and garage sales and thrift stores. And that's where I found some of my best pieces. So uh, yeah, thank my mom. Now, I said that um, there's these are fall outfits and uh, I might have lied on one of these. This outfit's a little Christmassy. I feel like it could, it, we could still squeeze this one in here. Underneath I have a petticoat. This dress I also picked up in Warrington, Texas a long time ago, one of those trips I made there. Really y'all, you really need to check it out. It is a cool place. I just love a good fit and flare. They are so flattering. They give you that hourglass shape like I was talking about earlier with the peplum. I feel like I need to be drinking hot cocoa in this outfit. Maybe I'll make myself some hot cocoa today. These boots that I paired with it I found at Goodwill too. And these are the Destroyer brand, which I'm finding are pretty decent. The boots are made of 100% leather. And if I remember correctly, I only paid about nine or $12, which is the steel for leather boots. They were in pretty decent condition. All I needed to do was polish them up a bit. This belt is something else. I love it. It is unique. I have never found another belt like this. The shape of it and the little keyhole on it, it's a work of art and I love this thing. This has broken so many times. I have gorilla glued this thing a good handful of times. At the end of its life, it's just going to be pure 100% gorilla glue because I'm just going to keep repairing it. Um, another confession, this skirt is not vintage, but the top is, and the hat. The top I found at an estate sale, and the really neat thing about this top is the embroidery and the sparkle buttons. I love these sparkle buttons. It kind of has a 50s vibe to it, and I'm pretty sure that's probably the time era it's from. The embroidery is super cool. I am a sucker for embroidery, especially if it has any sort of lace look. This felt hat is my favorite vintage hat and I try to wear it any excuse I get in the fall when I have an outfit that matches with it. Often they'll probably get paired with these boots that kind of give it a, I don't know, a more military feel. Maybe that's not what I should be going for in this look, but I do kind of feel like this look has a slight military vibe to it. I guess it's fitting the boots are called destroyers, but let's get real, I ain't destroying nobody in this skirt. Vintage Perfume from California. <laughs> Ugh, smells like baby powder. I guess nothing good comes out of California. Just kidding, just kidding. Family in California, you know I love you, but you probably should get out while you can 